stitchers how are you welcome back to my channel this is lit cat stitches my name is tamara and i'm coming to you from the somewhat rainy very cloudy new jersey it is tuesday uh it is tuesday march 28th so i'm about three weeks behind uh three weeks since my last video not three weeks behind uh, about a week behind where I wanted to be. Just some life stuff. Didn't stitch for a couple of days. It wouldn't have made sense to uh, to put a video out kind of on the schedule that I had planned. Wanted to make sure that there was enough stuff for you to see. So if you're new here, welcome. So happy that you've decided to try and check out my channel. I hope you find something that you love. And if you have any questions or any comments you'd like to leave, please leave them below. Always happy to engage with anyone who has anything uh, they'd like to say. And for all my returning viewers, welcome back. Thank you so much. It's been such a joy to get to know some of you. There are a lot of people uh, new here since my last video. Welcome. I am just so excited and uh, always happy to meet some stitchy friends. So, March. It went by in a blur. It was really quick for me and I had a lot of plans. Uh, I only successfully completed one plan but that's okay uh that's the great thing about plans and stitching is that um nothing nothing is uh it's not end of the world right if we if we don't meet our plans it's just plans are really goals right goals that you set and you strive for and it feels great while you're doing it because you're getting stitching done and that's that's all that matters let's start with the one thing that i did finish uh, and that finish is I did complete the March section of the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. The March section, this is what it looks like. This is the whole design as it's released so far. So if you're new, this is released on a monthly basis. We started in October with the house and then we kind of have moved around and now we'll be going all around the wreath. This um, March section was, I finished it like three days ago, <laughs> so uh, it was close. It was almost, it was almost a, a, a did not finish, but I pulled it across the finish line. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. I just, I started it late. I started the work late. So this is what it looked like last time you saw it, which, you know, would have just been without the March section, but here's the stitching before. So you can, uh, through the marvels of technology, see all of the progress. I know that's one of my favorite parts, watching Lost Tube. <laughs> um, and here she is. Look at her. Look at my witch. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> she's got a little hat with bats on it. She's got a little candy corn barrette. We got a new little pumpkin friend. Another kind of piece of candy here adorable she's a fun stitch uh the wreath itself is a lot of fun i i love the way they've broken it up i have the christmas wreath which i haven't stitched before and i do think that when this one's done i'm gonna pick up the christmas wreath and break it out into chunks and stitch it too because i cannot wait to have this as a pillow <laughs> on my couch my son's gonna throw it on the floor which is fine. I'm still excited <laughs> to have it as a pillow on my couch. It's going to be so cute. So March complete. Yes. Yes. It was just the only, the only goal that I did accomplish, but I did accomplish that goal. And this is stitched on the kit fabric and floss with kit fabric and floss. The fabric is a 28 count cashel linen by picture this plus called pewter. And the floss is just the called for DMC. Um, and it's two over two stitching. Um, and the back stitch is um, two threads because it's on 28 count. So that goal was completed. Feeling good about it. Um, the bag itself is, um, this is the 805 stitcher. Just a bunch of cute little kitty cats doing the kitty cat things. <clears throat> that is the only goal that I finished, as I've said, um, but I did get close with a couple things. So the next one that I had was to get a page finish 
for Hemlock and Rye's Thurza Priscilla Dawes, 1870. So this is the pattern. And then you'll see that there's two, there's two versions. One is like the faded version and one is the bright version. I'm doing the bright version, but I'm doing it in my own conversion for sulky uh, floss. And let me hold it a little closer. So it's very bright, very vivid. I love it. The faded version is pretty too, but I wanted, <clears throat> I wanted something bright. This is being kept in a dot dot goose bag. Dot dot goose. I have a different uh, thread keep inside. This bag is hefty because it's holding all of my uh, sulky threads. But this is what it looked like last time you saw it. Um, so you'll see there is quite a bit of difference, but I didn't quite hit the page finish. And this is what it looks like now. So you'll see I did all of this work up in this corner. And it's looking so beautiful. It's just so bright and so colorful and nothing is ironed. Apologies. Uh, if I had to iron, <laughs> I don't know if the video would have got made. I would have just marveled at how pretty everything looked nice and flat, but there it is. So I did, um, where there wasn't any border before there, this border wasn't there. I did this motif. I filled out the heart these flowers, these birds, and that was there. I think I added feet or a beak on a bird somewhere. Oh, it was this guy. My, uh, <laughs> so this guy here was missing some color, some of the color. And so was this one. And so this one to me looks like a flying roasted chicken. Like this one is definitely a bird that's sitting. This one just looks like a roasted chicken that someone chucked out a window. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I finished my roasted chicken. Um, but when you hold it back, look at the colors. Aren't they just so gorgeous? I can't wait to get that on my wall. I love this center motif so much. So this is sulky. <clears throat> sulky thread so it's it's one thread which if you're new to sulky um is comes on a spool and it is kind of like two dmc floss held together in thickness so it's it's a bit thicker whoa it's a bit thicker hold it over here um i find that i really like working with the floss I am less of a fan of the spool. I, I don't have a good system for storing them, which I know there's lots of options out there. I just haven't, I haven't decided on what I want to do. And I really, I just like working off of my floss cards. So it's, it's like a big adjustment for me to like, think about, um, what I'm, what I'm doing. I wanted to show you, let me just pull it up here. I did get close to the page finish. And I was gonna show you where I got to. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a little bit of allergies today. I don't know about anybody else. The flowers have started blooming here, which is really nice. Excited about the flowers, less excited about the allergies. Here we go. So the page finish for this is technically right here. It's like center of this motif in which there is, there's like the back end of the center motif of the horses or dogs and then like the top of a lady's head and a bird. So. Honestly, pretty close, pretty, pretty close. This flower is like center. So if you like sort of quarter it and follow those lines out, that's where the page finish is. Close, but not finished. So 
I don't know if I'll work on her again this month. I might. I have some other plans, so we'll see. Um, I'm not burnt down on her or anything. I think she's gorgeous and she's lovely to work on. A lot of color changes, but that's okay. I knew what I was getting into. So pretty close on that one. Uh, another thing that I had a goal for, which was to completely finish There Is Always by Renato Perlin. I did not pick it up. So we're just, we're just moving that goal into next month. It's fine. Another goal I had, which I did accomplish, though it doesn't feel, doesn't feel like I accomplished it because there wasn't like a, a finish point, is that I was working on the 2020 Pandemic Sampler by Sarcy Girl. And my goal was 25-7. So working on it 25 minutes a day, seven days a week. I did it. And there is progress that's been made. And this is, um, this is the pattern and I'm working in this area. This is what it looked like last time. And this is what it looks like now. I finished this house. I'm missing one, one thing over here, one chimney, but the house is built. <laughs> <laughs> I've even added some flowers. <sighs> this house, I, um, it's a big block of color and I was mentally blocked on stitching it. And there were a couple of days where I didn't do say 25, seven. I didn't do the 25, seven that day, but I made myself do like a makeup session. So I think one day I worked on it for two hours and this house took forever <laughs> I mean it's been 16 20 20 days 21 days since my video yeah 21 days as I'm not like like <laughs> that's all I did if I had worked on it consistently and just powered through I would have gotten it done in no time but working on it picking it up putting it down picking it up putting it down I wouldn't say I lost momentum, but I definitely lost the groove, right? You have to bring out all your floss and you've got to, you know, set everything up, put it on the cube, like put it on the Lowry stand, which is what I use. There's like setup involved, right? And so that adds time, but I would say 25 seven for me was a wild success because I did not want to sit and stitch this house. I did not want to sit and stitch this house. I did not. But now it's done and I can move on to more fun things. I was working on the border, experimenting with different ways of trying to stitch these flowers so that I could get them done quicker. I think I found a method that works for me. When I started this project, I had actually been away from stitching for a while and it was also my first time stitching on 40 count linen. So it was like a whole new experiment for me to, to stitch these flowers and counting and you know, all of that. Um, sorry, she's all crumpled up in here, but I am gonna have to work on her today. So <laughs> the fabric is, <clears throat> is a 40 count. It is vintage something. I don't have the tag anymore. Apologies. I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. I'm stitching this with the called for thread, except I substituted this orange for a very close um, match. I used, um, oh, I can't remember the website, but it's like DMC color, um, replacement. It's a website. I'll put it, I'll put it in the link below, which gave me another orange that was very similar. So my goal for that was a, was a page finish. If I could do that within the 25, seven, I did not. Page is Technically there's a page break here or about here, but there's like way more stuff over here that I didn't get done, which is fine. I'm going to keep 25 sevening this, I believe, and just see how much more I can do. This is the upper corner here. So I might start filling in these motifs, bring up my flowers, etc. 
I think once I get to the motifs up here, it'll be a little more fun. We've got, you know, a cool little flower thing and some birds and moths. Very exciting. <clears throat> All right. The next goal. I had broken out sections in my oldest whip. My oldest whip was a Jan Lynn kit. Winter cat. This is the, this is the kit page. So I had broken this out into sections. And what I had wanted to do was like, say, do this corner in March. This is April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, etc. So that I would have a finish by December. Well, I had picked it up and I was stitching on it. I'll show you where, this is where I was before. Um, I hadn't stitched on it last time, but the, I'll show you kind of where I was at before and this was the where I was you know like what it looks like now so this is the what I had said is the April sec sorry the March section I did do some work on it but there are some errors some counting errors like his tail the squirrel's tail is supposed to be up against the the wood and I just, I wasn't feeling, <laughs> wasn't feeling it. And I had asked, a, I had posed a question last time. Should I restart this? Well, <clears throat> I went on, so the design is actually cooler designs. So it's a cooler design, which you can go, they have a website, Cooler Design Studios. And um, this is one of the patterns that you can buy as a PDF. And I did. So I purchased the pattern again. And the reason I did that is the Janlin kit floss, I didn't have enough floss to start it over again. And when I was comparing it to the floss that's called for in this pattern, it's different. The Janlin does use DMC, uh, but the DMC I have is really old and there were significant differences in dye lots. So I couldn't even just add new skeins. It was a thing. So I bought the pattern again. I broke it out into sections again. I had some 28 count uh, vintage white, anti no, antique white um, in my stash. So I stitched it again. Look at how good it looks though. It's not done. I technically did not complete the March section yet, though I have a couple of days left. There's still back stitching to do. And I'm trying to I'm trying to think how I want to deal with the back stitching in this center motif, which is going to be split across a couple. I might, I had started doing the back stitching in the leaves, which I think I'll do, but I think I'm going to do the back stitching on the birdhouse as one thing. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up. So, but look at <coughs> the colors are very similar to the Janlin kit. Um, but there are some differences in different called for things, especially in the pinks. They use very different pinks. Um, so, and I think it blends better in the squirrel, the, the pinks that they've picked and like it really pops off of this page. I am so excited to stitch the next section. I, once I pick this up, I, so I picked up the the kit I had, the Janlin kit, and I just wasn't happy. And I was like, this is going to be torture to stitch it. When I picked this up and started this, <laughs> I started up in this corner and I did not stop until what you see is complete. I just stitched on it. And I can tell you, 
let me hold please I will tell you how many days I worked on it because I keep track of what I stitch on what day <clears throat> so I kitted it up and restarted it on the 16th of March and I stitched all of that and did not stop stitching it until the 23rd so 16 eight days <laughs> I just and like maybe that's not a lot of progress for eight days but I'm a full-time mom and I work full-time too it's like having two full-time jobs right so I'm very pleased there's a lot of color changes in here um and it looks so good I cannot wait I am so excited this is the floss and there are two substitutions in here because there were DMCs that were called for that I didn't have and they were in those pinks pink is not my color it's not my jam but I belong to a couple of color clubs of um, cotton clubs from over dyers so I substituted with two Roxy and Floss Co. Roxy Floss Co. Which they look fine to me. And the pinks are held up against the reds and they're never on their own and I think it's going to be fine. Um, they're already used in here and I think it looks great. Right? It's so beautiful and I am so excited about it. So it's almost a finish. You'll see here in the March section, there's a lot more backstitching. So I got to put the squirrel's face in and there's all these twigs that have to go in. And then there's um, more backstitching around the berries. I'm sorry, around the leaves that has to go in. And I think for April, I'm going to move down and do the paper whites and the cardinal and the top of this amaryllis here. Yay! It's a lot of stitching. That is a lot of stitching. This is less, like, it's a smaller section, but it's denser, so I tried to... <laughs> I tried to make it even as best as I could. Um, but, so that's the next section. I'm really looking forward to it. I cannot wait to pick it up again. <clears throat> And I haven't touched it in five days, and I just am really excited to pick it up again. So, that's Winter Cat. And, again, I don't think there's anything wrong with the Janlin kit. It's simply that I didn't have enough of the floss, and that there were enough differences in the floss that I couldn't just use the floss again. Um, and it was my mistakes right? Like I had made mistakes and, you know, do you want to see a comparison? You might. So it's a little hard to see. He's a little blurry on this side because of the fold, but yeah, obviously backstitched, <laughs> not backstitched. <laughs> well, not, I mean, he's got a, he's got an eyeball and a nose and a leg, but Okay, and the last thing I worked on, actually that's not true, I did pick up my Hade, my Heaven and Earth Design Stitcher's Bookshelf, but I haven't put a lot of stitches into it and it's not really worth showing kind of where I'm at now, um, so stay tuned until next time for that one. But the other thing I worked on was Jane Atkinson by the Scarlet Letter. So this is the pattern. And I'm working up in here. I picked this up um, only recently. I haven't, I hadn't worked on it that much at the beginning of the month. And again, just fell in love with it again so good. This is in a 805 stitcher bag. Again, cats, very springy. A lot of flowers. <clears throat> I am stitching this on 40 count platinum by Zweigart. And this is what it looked like before. So I had just got a page finish 
last time and my goal for this month was another page finish which did not happen but I did work on this flower so last time you saw it it was like right here so I did the outline of this flower and I started filling it in obviously still a good amount of work to go oh, but the colors look so good Every time I show it on camera, I get obsessed. It is so pretty. This is stitched with the called for uh, Avera Spa, Svaldage Silks. This is the silks. Bit of a wreck, I was stitching on it this morning. Lovely to work with, a little fuzzy, but that's okay. And um, my goal is I'd like to finish the flower uh, and the flower is half of a page so the rest of the page is like down here um, it's pretty much the <laughs> like right around the end of that butterfly is the end of the page so quite a bit I still have to reach heart and if you're new here um, this verse I'm changing and I'm going to switch it out for a um, quote from Paradise Lost from John Milton and this will be my John Milton sampler. Yeah. I have a lot of plans but my plan really is I just want to finish this flower and see how I feel about doing the next section and floss okay that's it for the stitching so what I have next is purchases and plans for next month so um, I did get my needlework expo haul and um, I'm happy to share that with you and I have some other purchases that came in I bought some stuff from like stash unload and then my monthly floss clubs came in so if you're not here for a stash or you don't like stash, totally understand. I'll see you next time. Uh, if you do like stash, let's get into it because there is a lot. There shouldn't be a lot, but there is. I'm going to start with Needlework Expo in case you're curious about the things that I got that came out recently. So the first one I got is uh, Luminous Fiber Arts. I got Hop Peep Leap. And there's going to be some glare. I'm sorry. I don't want to take it out of the plastic until I stitch it. Which is really cute. Very springy. I was feeling the spring mood. It had been so rainy and gloomy and cold. <laughs> I really wanted spring. So that's the first one I got. It, uh, it calls for a combination of DMC and a couple of over dyes um, for classic color works. The next thing I got was a JBW design uh, for Eliza's Sewing Smalls. So it's a little scissor, scissor keep. And I really just liked the, I don't have a lot of smalls. I tend to do big baps. Have you, if you know what a bap is, I can tell you in the comments. Um, but yeah it's, it's so it's small and I don't do a lot of smalls and I thought it was really sweet and I'd love to do the finishing um, another small I got was Jeanette Douglas designs the chubby bunny it's so sweet I love that round frame too again small springy I was feeling it the next one is not small. <laughs> I got Cross Stitch Antiques Jane Milner 1830. Uh, it's a Quaker extract sampler. Whew, it's so pretty. I love that blue. So gorgeous. Um, it calls for DMCs. It has floss. It's charted for DMCs 
103s or NPIs. So you get three options. Um, it looks like what's what's here is the 103s, the Swadelgers 103s. So whew. I can't wait to stitch that blue flower. This is a big one though. This is 239 by 258. Huge, but very beautiful. Uh, the next two I got are Tiny Modernist's Cat Tapestry, which was so bright and colorful. Reminds me of my kitties. So I got this one. Um, this is 152 by 194. So it's pretty big. But love the colors on that one. And the last market one I got was uh, Joan Elliott Designs Kitties Galore. how cute I love I just I couldn't I love the moon or the sun get your get your timing right here Tamara I love the sun and this just looks like a lot of fun to stitch I love the colors and all the cats so that'll be a fun one So cute and i can't wait to see i mean this is a this is a digital mock-up so i can't wait to see what the what the real stitch product looks like looks like and it calls for all dmc so that was my expo haul there were so many other great patterns out there and um there were a lot more i wanted to get but i was trying to trying to pace myself <laughs> so um, I also got some things on a stash unload. Um, there were quite a few people getting rid of old charts that I would love to stitch one day. Uh, and I'll just show you what those look like. So I really like the Marty Bells. Um, you can get a lot of them still through Pegasus Publications, which is up here. Um, some of them they have as kits, but this one was Summerland. I mean, look how beautiful that is. I just, <laughs> um, these are conversions from, uh, Marty Bells was a painter. So, uh, these are conversions of her paintings. They call for a lot of floss. It's very similar to like a DMC, as DMC, uh, very similar to a Dimensions. Um, but there's... I don't know, the depth that they get into these cross-stitch. Like, this is actual cross-stitch. This is not the painting. This is the Devon Cottage. I just... I want to stitch all those flowers. <laughs> um, so those are the two Marty Bells that I got. I also got um, an Ann Powell Heirloom Stitchery Home Sweet Home. Very similar to like, um, what's that Dutch, there's a company that still, Dutch Treat, I think, still does um, sort of old school designs like this. Um, but this one was on stash on load and it needed a home. It's a paper chart, uh, a large paper chart, but that's okay. And I, I just love the way it looks. I also got um, an out of print Mirabilia. I have never stitched a Mirabilia. I have done beading once on an ornament. <laughs> so I figured why not jump in with both feet. I do actually have a Bella Filipina. Um, that's a Halloween chart that has beads that I could stitch to. I have that kitted up, but this is Santa's Magic. You can still find it. This is not like one of the most rare charts. And honestly, I didn't even realize it was out of print until 
uh, I went to go try and find the thing like to like sometimes one two three stitch has them so you can um, purchase everything you need by selecting the chart and they didn't have the chart so uh, this was from 1995 and I I saw I think it was Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World stitching this. I could be wrong about that. It was a while ago. And I've wanted it ever since. Um, and it came up and it was the right price. So I picked that one up. I also got the drawn thread. This is the Simply Summer House. This is a more modern pattern. There's I uh, I don't see a date on here, but I know it's not that old. And I love too is um, they have all of the houses for all of the seasons on one piece of fabric, which I think is really sweet. So now I want to get the other three seasons. But I loved, I loved the way this summer was like written here next to the house with the B scap, and it just seemed like a really nice stitch. All right. And the rest I got are really old dimensions patterns. Um, this is Woodland Santa. Very sweet. You can see some commonalities between this and my winter cat with the, uh, the birch frame. And um, I also got Windswept Saint Nick. So beautiful. And it's a paper pattern, but um, it's it's charted in such a way, it's charted in such a way that I think it'll be easy enough to, I'll just show you this little corner, to make like a copy um, so I can work from the copy. And these are old, so let me, um, this is from 97. Oops. This is from 96. And I'll just keep it with the Christmas for a minute. This is Snowy Sunday, which I think is beautiful. This one's from 96. I mean, this is back when I was first cross-stitching and I would have not been able to do one of these. I was young. So, so, so gorgeous. And then there's two more that I got from Stash Unload, um, both dimensions. One is uh, Charles Wysocki's Cape Cod Summer. Which I love, I love Charles Wysocki. I do the, I have like all of the puzzles, um, but I've never done one of the cross stitches. So they look, it looks fairly easy, honestly. It's not very big. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a size. I don't see a size and it doesn't have a larger grid. It looks like maybe uh, 200 by 150 for this main one. And then you could pull out, there's a uh, separate charts to pull out the little, the little carts. And my hometown, which has got two charts. It's this house and then this uh, like general store. Cute, right? I don't know when I'll stitch these, um, but I will. <laughs> Someone has done some calculations here. 126 by 168 for for the general store. Somebody counted them out, counted that out themselves. But look at how beautiful the trees are back there. I just, I know it's going to sing. I know it. <coughs> You'd think that'd be it, but you'd be wrong. I also purchased, a little zip here, sorry. 
because I got winter cat, I wanted to purchase the other patterns. So I didn't get them all at once because I do have some restraint and recognition of how long things take to stitch. But I did get the spring one because that's the season we're actually just entered here in the Northern Hemisphere. So I got the spring cat and I do want to start it and I want to do something very similar. Um, and it might be that I work on two of these at a time, but I don't have all the floss for this one. So I have to, um, I have to buy some DMC. Mostly because these are not colors that I typically stitch with, right? Yellows and pinks and like purple. Um, but very beautiful. And I'm going to stitch that on the other half of the 28 count antique white Lugana that I have from uh, Winter Cat. I also got a couple of bags. This is another 805 stitcher bag. You can see that there's a theme. <laughs> um, right? Cats. It's in the name. Lit Cat. This one has books and cats. <laughs> so um, that's one. And I love the 805. Is she gives you a little needle minder with your bags, which is really sweet. And then... This is also 805. This is Christmassy. Also very sweet. I might put my um, my winter cat in here and take it out of one of the, the plastic bag that I have it in. And last but not least is floss. So I am in three floss clubs. Um, one of them is through the Fat Quarter Shop, and I'm in the, the Fine Floss or the Fancy Floss. This arrived just after I showed my last video, so this is the Melon Pink NPIs. And then this one just arrived, which is the Pistachio Greens. And I'm building up a little collection of, um, of NPIs, which is really nice. I'm also in the color and cotton. Which uh, is like a special edition floss. So these were the flosses for March. And this is the primitive neutrals. So we've got paving stones, birdhouse, Spring Rain, Picnic Basket, and Buttermilk. All right. <clears throat> Hold, please. There was just a lot of crinkling, and I didn't want you to have to listen to that. Um, I'm also in Roxy and Flosco. Roxy Flosco. So this was February's, and these are not... these. I think a lot of these go into the regular collection, but I could be wrong. This is Let It Be, Anchors Away, Tempest, just like a lovely variegated floss, Greater Porpoise, and Dutiful. And then March has arrived. Oh, I love this one. This one, I oh, know, this one's so good. <laughs> Dirty Martini, EVOO, Marvelous, Creme de Violette, and Over It. I think that's enough, right? Um, it's certainly a lot. And typically I wouldn't have that much haul, but uh, we had market and um, yeah. So I think I'll let you go there. Um, I do have some plans and I'll just briefly go over them actually before I let you go. So plans for April are to do the April section of the Halloween 
wreath. I want to pick up my stitching shelf from uh, Heaven and Earth Designs, which this is what it looks like in case you don't know what that looks like. Um, I have already started it. It was a birthday start for me, so I started it last year. And I have shown it on the channel before, but I don't know if I've shown it recently. I don't think I have. So I want, I'd like to work on that. I don't really have a goal so much for that one. I just want to work on it. I'd like to keep working on my pandemic doing 25 seven. Uh, I want to do the winter cat April section and I'd like to work some more on Jane and I think anything else that tickles my fancy. <laughs> and I think that's good. April, April is a long month, but it's not that big. So we'll see what, what I can do. And hopefully I'll be back here in two weeks rather than three. And I'll have some good stuff to show you then too. And if you stuck out this long, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you have a great day. Get lots of X's in. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>